Hey y'all, it's Bray. I'm back with a collective haul of items I got from Sephora and MAC and a couple other random things. So I'll get right into it and show you all what I got. So first I'll start with some MAC items that I did get. Um, there are a few things I had my eyes on recently that I want to try out. So I bought um, the to-go size um, strobe cream and oil control lotion. I'd had this before but I wasn't sure if I liked it so I tried it again and since it's only like uh, 10 or 15 dollars for this size I thought what the hey. So anyway I've been using the strobe cream and I really really like it. It kind of gives you an iridescent pearl look like a strobe light would on your face and it really shows through underneath the makeup and the oil control lotion I have really oily skin so I do like to use that to help control the oil underneath my makeup every day and I also purchased this prep and prime line filler and this is um, I wanted to use it specifically for clients who may be a little older and they have you know lines underneath their eyes I used it once, um, I did not really like the results, but I may have used it wrong, I think you're supposed to use it on top of foundation, so I'll have to give it another try, but if I don't like it, I will take it back. I also bought the Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Face Primer, um, because it said that it's um, good for oily skin too. So. I wanted to see if I liked it. I used it once, um, I have to say for, I think, it's, I think it's like $40 versus $30, so $10 more. Yes, you get a bigger tube, but I don't know. I don't really know if I really like it yet. I feel like for the radiance and the shimmer that's supposed to shine through, I feel like I get that more with the strobe cream. Than with this so I'll have to give it another try um, I did try it on clients they liked it but you know it's kind of one of those preferential things either you like it or you don't so we'll see also I got the new um, what is this young Rapunzel Rapunzel I don't know it has an X in it but young Rapunzel lipstick this is a new thing. I'm gonna add it to my dark lipstick collection. Um, I have Rebel, and there's a couple more that I wanna get for the fall so I can have the sexy, dark, vampy lip for the fall. That's all for MAC. And so from Sephora, I got some stuff from their online sale, and I mean, I couldn't even keep things in my basket. As I was online shopping, and I was about to check out, items were sold out. So I didn't get to get a lot of stuff that I really wanted because I took too long shopping around. But here's what I got. I got this Hello Kitty um, Apple Cheeks in Cotton Ball. So it's white and iridescent. So I'm most likely, here's the packaging has the little cat on there. I'm not really a Hello Kitty. I'm not really a Hello Kitty fan. I don't like cats anyway, so whatever. But yeah, it comes in a stick form like this, and you just roll it up and use it. Since it's white, you want to use it as a highlighter. You don't want to use it for anything else, um, unless that's just what you want to go for. I also purchased. Um, these brushes from Sephora, they're double-ended. So you have one brow lash spoolie. Here's the spoolie end. And then here's the angled liner for your brow. So I wanted these. These were like $3. And I got this brush that has a fluffy um, blending side 
and then it has the flat um, shader side so you can use this to put eyeshadow on the bottom lash line or you can use it to tap eyeliner into your top uh, lash line got three bottles of nail polish these two are from the Betsy Johnson line that came out this one is a nice nude color it's called XOX Betsy and I don't have a nude like this so I'm excited to try this and then this one is called it's my pink and it comes in this box and apparently it smells like her tutu scent which I don't know what that smells like I just bought it because it was cute it was pink and it was three or five dollars so anyway this will be fun to try out and then this iridescent color is from the Glee collection called mashup I don't know if you can see it's iridescent I got a lip gloss this one it is called golden embrace it's orange it has little flecks of gold glitter in it I hope it isn't too shimmery because I don't like shimmer on my lips um, next is the body shop spiced vanilla body butter this it's small see it's like the palm of my hand size it's not that big one and so far when I smelled it it doesn't smell like spiced vanilla it smells like roses but luckily I like roses and I like rose scented things so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna use it I end up going to Sephora's actual storefront and I did get my um, birthday present so yeah it's these sugar kisses mini lip duo by fresh and there's one that is um, clear and the other one is rose tinted and I also bought this um, anti shine primer the Sephora brand and I was a little skeptical because you know um Sephora brand stuff does not be coming through sometimes and the fact that it was on sale for five dollars I was like it must not be good this stuff is good okay like I get shiny right here and here and um, you know I always have trouble with my oiliness but this right here I don't have any trouble I tested it out I worked all day and then I went to a wedding and stayed at the wedding I danced a little bit all that stuff so about 10 10 hours of wear and I blocked one time out of that whole time so I'm gonna go back and get more of this I tried to look for it online and it wasn't there so I might just hunt down each and every Sephora in Houston and buy them up because I really like it anyway a couple other things that I did get was Target was having clearance on some of their Sally Hansen nail polish and I got these two this one is vibrant violet and this one is raspberry rave I've been looking for a purple like this um, all the other purples were too dull that I was getting but I wanted a vibrant one like this so I'm excited to wear this one. I also got some stuff from Coastal Scents. Um, they were having their um, hot pots of eyeshadow on sale for 99 cents. So I bought all of these. I think there's 18 or so in there. This one is Vibrant Plum. This one is Python Green. Isn't that pretty this one is violet bill this one is called spice berry and I just scratched it see what I do for y'all messed up but spice berry this should be pretty for the fall it's kind of a 
uh, burgundy color. This one's called Peachy Keen. This one's really pretty. Here is Vibrant Blue Green. Very perfect with the description. Here we have Vibrant Pink. One is Sunflower Petal. This one is a matte color. Next couple don't have names, but it's called HPME12. It's kind of a satin coral color. It does not have a name either, but obviously it is a bright and vibrant orange. It's CM03. Is vibrant blue very pretty is indigo dream it is matte with a few specks of shimmer in it here is sea lily this one is matte this is one of my favorites fresh chive like the perfect kind of Kelly green really pretty this one is coral blossom and it is a little shimmery this one is Caribbean or Caribbean it is a satin blue this one is called spring fling it looks similar to sea lily and this last one is wild raisin and it is a satin deep burgundy red brown um that's it for my haul from coastal scents mac and sephora i hope you guys enjoyed so i'll see y'all next time peace out